right the next topic for us to understand is uh, this this is basic actually a scope resolution operator you must have you must have come across it sometime in the past if not it is better to know it now so you see it here the scope resolution operator is a very good operator that will help you to use a, a particular variable outside uh, from outside the place where it has been declared so that's the main purpose of scope resolution operator so here you see a couple of examples that i have used here here what i have done i have uh, used a integer with name a with having content 10 i have declared it in the global space but i use the same variable inside main with value 2 now which is the content that i want to access if i have to access the content that i have declared globally i need to access 10 now that's what i mean to say I do not want to access 2. So if I have to access 10, what will I do? Simple, double colon is the scope resolution operator that we need to use. See out less than, less than, uh, that is called as redirection operators, scope resolution operator in action, double colon A. This double colon will tell the compiler that the person is not looking for the value of the variable which is in the local scope and he is looking for the value of the variable in the global scope. So now 10 will be printed. This is what the result that we have got in front of us. 10 is the result. Now let's come to the another example. Now how do you modify the value of the contents that are in global scope? I want to uh, change the value to 10. I mean to uh, change the value of the 10 to something else. So see here, A is the local variable, scope is restricted. We cannot access it in the, uh, access it outside the current scope. Now. I try to access the value that is available in global scope. Double colon A will get me 10. So now I need to update the value to 20. So double colon A equal to 20. Now the modified global value can be obtained by using double colon A. Using this double colon A, you need not just access the content, you can also change the content or update the content. This is the point. You need not just access the content, you can also change the content or update the content. So the results are revealing the scope resolution operator in action. For the first one, it is 10. This is the one. And for the second one, it is 20. And this is the one. I updated it with 20 here and I got the result. Scope resolution operators are very, very useful. So please listen to it carefully and try it once in your machine whenever you find time. So scope resolution operators are used to access content that are even outside your reach. With the scope resolution operator, you can access and update the content also with the double colon which is referred to as the scope resolution operator. The next operator is set with. Set with. Set with is the simplest operator. It doesn't require much of the time to uh, probably spend. I can set width of the screen, set width 15, set width 11. So when I set this width, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, when I set this width, the screen will be limited to the size. The screen's display will be adjusted accordingly. When I say 5, this is the space that I need. So 5 spaces are the total spaces occupied and the content will be printed accordingly. So set width of 11, C++ when I use it. I will take 11 spaces and then set width of 25. I will take some space here. This is the 25th space that I am coming into the screen and it will be printed in this direction. So it is just to set the screen size, I mean the screen printing size and nothing more. This operator is mainly used for uh, designing or mainly used for some sort of uh, polishing the output whenever you want. This is no important operator but just for namesake we should know it at least. The next topic is going to be very, 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 very important. So this is something which many of us will not be aware of. So please listen to it carefully. New and delete. So what is new? What is delete? We need to allocate memory before we want to use any variable. A variable is there. It has to have some memory space for you to use it. After using the memory space, I need to delete it. That is the normal procedure that we follow. Is it right? We need to allocate memory. After allocating memory, you need to delete the allocated memory. After using it, you need to delete the or release the allocated memory. Now, 
how well are we aware of what are all the header files that are related towards allocating and deallocating memory in C++. That's one question. Question number two. C++ is one language where you got something called as exception handling. So what is exception? Exceptions are something like error that you need to handle properly. If you are not an ex expert in catching the error and handling the error properly, it is going to harm you. So instead of it, if you have a method that can make you to go with C way of handling it. In C, if you are trying to allocate memory and if there is no enough memory space available, the problem will be simple. It will throw an error message. Right? For us, for now, it is going to be an error message for us. If it is the same way that is going to work out in C++, it will be great. So we are going to do that. There is one header file by name new. Include new. That's the first line of the code that I have included here. Second line of the code that I have included here. Now, I come to the code. I keep a pointer ready, int star pointer. Why do we need a pointer? We need a pointer to catch the address that has been allocated through the new operator. New is an operator or a function that is used to allocate memory. Now the next step, pointer is equal to new of no throw. What is this no throw? I told you already that it is very easy if at all we have the C uh, behaving in the way of C++. So I mean C++ behaving in the way of C which means it should not throw us any exception. So I am including a no throw keyword here. So there will not be any exception. Instead there will be a null pointer. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Instead there will be a null pointer returned. So I need to check if the address allocated to the pointer is a solid number or if it is null. If it is null you can say that the address is not allocated because of insufficient memory space. If the address is allocated, you will be printed with the address available. The point is very clear here. I am trying to allocate memory for an integer and I need a pointer to hold the address. If the address is not allocated properly, there will be an exception thrown because of the C++ nature. I do not want my system to behave that way. So I need to have a no throw keyword. With that no throw, what will happen? The compiler will be informed that you need not throw anything, instead you just return a pointer with null. Means it should behave exactly as your C compiler behaves. Now, after I uh, collect the value, I am assuming that the memory space is available for one integer and I have now assigned the value 10 that I have got in n into the pointer. Next, I need to delete the memory space that I have used. So see, delete pointer, see it here. I have used new function and delete function, delete pointer, post deletion it should be zero. See the result here, the address allocated is some hexadecimal address, value assigned to the pointer is 10, post deletion is zero. This is a very important interview question as well for people who aspire to undergo interviews in C++. Using a new header file, using no throw keyword and using delete and new functions, you can do wonders. So this is a very simple and very important question, but please make sure that you guys are aware of it.